गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर सत्यव्रत शाह एम डी डी एम क्लिनिकल फार्माकोलॉजिस्ट एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन एडवर्स ट्रक जैक्शन दैट इज ए डी आई अकॉर्डिंग टू डब्ल्यू एच ओ डेफिनेशन एडवर्स ट्रक जैक्शन इज एनी रेस्पॉन्स टू ए ड्रग हुईच इज नॉक्सियस एंड ऑन इंटेंडेड एंड हुईच अकर्स एज एट डोजेस यूज इन ह्यूमन फॉर प्रोफाइल एक्सिस डायग्नोसिस और ट्रीटमेंट then coming to types of adverse reactions there are various types of adverse reactions like type a augmented augmented that is predictable adverse reactions for example respiratory depression with opiates bleeding with warfarin and type b that is bizarre type not predictable for example anaphylaxis with penicillin and skin rashes with antibiotics then another is type c that is continuing or chronic that persist for relatively long time and for example osteonecrosis of jaw with bisphosphonates then another type is type d that is delayed type reactions become apparent sometime after the use of a medicine for example leukopenia with tomustin and nitrous oxide induced megaloblastic changes or vitamin b12 deficiency related subacute combined degeneration of spinal cord then another is type e that is end of use or end of treatment that is associated with withdrawal of medicine for example anxiety insomnia perceptual disturbances following withdrawal of benzodiazepines and the adverse reaction should be reported according to who uh, in proper time uh, to higher authority to cdso to adr monitor center from adr monitor center uh, through vg flow it should be reported to cdso and the adverse reactions should be uh, the causality assessment should be done by wgm scale naranjo uh, scale and hartwig modified hartwig severity scale and the adverse reaction should be treated promptly uh, to uh, should be treated accurately so that the patient will be benefited from the treatment thanks a lot for watching जय जगन्नाथ